I obviously I was the best in the country, which means I didn't have much competition. I mean, the only competition I would have would be like if we we had this tournament called the All Africa Challenge, mm-hmm. and we played every two years. So I would meet other girls and other women from other countries, and that would be the only competition that would like really stretch me. Mm-hmm. So coming here, I had to get to learn to play with people that are, that were way better than me, which means I had to learn to play under a lot of pressure. I had to adapt to that. Um, I met coaches here, and I changed a few things in my swing, in my game plan. Okay. All right. Uh, 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 and, um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Go ahead. So that, that has really had a good impact in my game. It, it has improved from last year to where it is right now. It, I mean, right now my handicap is three, mm-hmm. and that means if I wish to turn professional right now, I qualify to, to play the professional golfer. Okay. So that's, that's so, a good achievement so, for me. So there would there would be there would be definitely what we call the the LPGA the Ladies uh, Professional Golf Association. Uh, is that uh, well, you you could consider yourself, or you you qualify to be a professional golfer? So obviously yes, you will be. I qualify. Okay. I'm still an amateur. I have to like play a qualified tournament if I want to be a professional golfer. But I do meet the requirements. Oh, you meet the requirements. Okay, so wonderful. So definitely. Because of your current standing with the NCA, uh, you wouldn't you you wouldn't want to go pro at this stage, or would you? Is that what you're looking for? Are you looking to go pro now, or are you waiting for you to finish with your your scholarship program, your studies, and then go pro? Okay, for now, I'm looking to finish with my scholarship program. I'm, I'm graduating next year, December 2019. Okay, and. Um, from there on, um, I'll decide whether I'm, I'm ready to go pro mm-hmm. or not. But the ultimate goal is to definitely go pro. And so I have to, I have to, I want to be ready mentally, physically, financially. Mm-hmm. I want to have a coach and everything ready when I decide to go pro. So for now, I just want to finish with my scholarship and find as much golfing opportunities as possible, play amateur tournaments, and gauge myself to see if I'm really ready to do this. But eventually, I, I will play professional golf. I wanted to finish with my degree, okay, and then I can decide to turn pro. Okay. Well, you mind if I ask what you're going, what you're, what you're studying in college? I'm studying agriculture economics. Okay, okay. Yes. And, uh, yes, that's awesome. That's wonderful. Um, when we talk about professional golf in uh, in Africa, especially when it comes to women, that's a rare, you know, it's a rare, a rare thing to, uh, you know, in a sense, because we, we, we barely have names that we could <laughs> cite, you know. So you're in a, in a, in a space where you could easily, I mean, it's not because it's easy, but basically become a dominant factor and be a name, a recognized name for the African continent. So I'm, I'm, I'm really pleased to be uh, uh, talking to you, to know you, obviously. I've, I've, I've been in contact with you for quite a while. Uh, I've known about you for a little bit now and um, uh, definitely... Uh, looking at you and knowing that you have what it takes to go professional, I think it will be a great thing for uh, uh, women in sports in Africa and uh, young kids coming up who might be looking at alternative sports other than soccer and athletics as a as a as a way to leverage their opportunities in life. Um, yes. You you grew up um, in uh, Gaborone. Um, what is the what is the climate like in terms of uh, support for what you do in uh, in, in golf and uh, how is how how are you embraced over there? Okay, can I touch a little bit about professional golf and women before I ask that? Yes, yes, go ahead. Okay, so um, yes, we we don't have 
a lot of professional golfers mm-hmm. in Africa, which are women, but we do have some, and of course, most of them are from South Africa, yes. which is a country that is well developed in golf and has lots of golfing facilities. But um, when I started playing, it wasn't, there wasn't a lot of them, but as I grew up, there's been a lot of changes. I've seen professionals from Zambia, from um, other countries as well. So for me, that, that was, was a good motivating factor to say, okay, there are professionals from these countries that I have been playing with, mm-hmm. and most of these ladies that turn professional are people that I played with in the amateur tournament. So for me, that was like, okay, if they can do this for their countries, I surely can do it for my country too, so that the kids in my country can say, oh, we also have a professional golfer, so this thing is possible, it's possible for us to start playing golf and be a professional golfer and make a living out of it. So that, that's one thing that is also pushing me okay. to, to take this professional golf seriously. Mm-hmm. So, um, yes, uh, talking about support in the country, um, I pretty much grew up around the golfing community. My dad plays, my uncle plays, and um, because I was one of the few kids that decided to go ahead and take golf seriously, I, I, I got a lot of support because most of the people that I played with when I started were older women and older men. Mm-hmm. So there was a lot of support for me. Um, equipment wise, tournament wise, financial wise, I, I had a lot of support and uh, everybody was encouraging me to say, okay, we've never had somebody do this good in a long time. So whatever you need, we are, we are behind you, we will support you. So it, it, was, it was good, it was a lot of support for me and uh, I definitely think any child who would decide to take the spot seriously in the country would have that much support mm-hmm. and we had a few golf academies that were formed and uh, the National Sport Council was also involved um, I, when I came here in the United States the National Sport Council also got involved um, they paid for all my transport fares and everything so it, there is support golf is starting to be recognized in the country and they're encouraging more kids to start playing it okay I mean, so, uh, you, you, your 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 um you being in this in the sports you 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 pushing you you you're in the career obviously you 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 are going to create opportunities you are like a trailblazer of sorts you are a pioneer in so many words uh I know, I know that that may. I don't know if you've ever sat down and thought about it, and actually embraced the concept that uh, you are a leader in your own right, and uh, for your own community, for your for for the country of Botswana, and for the rest of Africa as well. I mean, I know yes, we have um, these uh, women golfers in South Africa, but like you said, they they are uh, uh, South Africa is like you know. Um, uh, a, a world away from the rest of uh, sub-Saharan Africa, you know. Uh, so I, I guess I, I'm not saying I'm not going to take anything away from these ladies out there, you know, like Ashley Simon and uh, Connie Chen. Th- those those women have done their own part, but uh, you are about to blaze a trail for the rest of um, Africa that, uh, you know, I would say, uh, makes 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 a makes a big difference. So, has that ever sunk into you that this is so? This is what you're doing, and um, that you are sort of a, a trailblazer in your own right. Yes, sir. Yes, I have definitely thought about it, and I have embraced it. Mm-hmm. I I know and I've accepted that I'm a leader, and um, um, apart from golf, I do. As a leader, I take other leadership roles at school. I am a vice president of the club in my department, so I have practice leadership. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm ready to take those skills and put them in the golf side and see how I can help develop the sport in in the country. And um, I, I do have plans to 
go back home once I'm already in the tour circuit and um, work with schools around the community that I grew in. And we have quite a number of golf courses spread around the country. It's not just in the capital city. So it would be nice to go to those golf courses and in the areas around those golf courses to have kids have play and have programs that are set for those kids to play so we can identify their talents when they're still young. Just like it happened for me, it was just somebody who managed to identify my talent and say, this kid can do this. So I would like to go back and do that for these kids and um, work with the sports council, work with the golf union and see what programs we can, we can come up with to make sure that we grow the sport in the country. So I, I have... Mm-hmm. I have thought about that. I have embraced it, and um, I'm ready to take on that leadership role to to take golf to the next level in my country. In the rest of Africa as well, right? Yes, sir. Absolutely, absolutely. That sounds that sounds wonderful. Uh, uh, you 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 you're doing an awesome thing, and like I say, I've uh, I've kept track um, of, of, of what you're doing out here in. Um, I uh, I'm definitely a fan. I admire your your direction that you've taken in um in, in being they always say being to be a leader is always um uh, you, you, it's lonely. I mean, it's lonely at the top. Not everybody can be a leader and you when you're in your leader, you you basically are in a space of your own really and, and that's what you are. You you're a leader in that space and uh I just you just learn to embrace it and, 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 and understand the weight and gravity of what God has blessed you with. What God has blessed you with. Um, I'm I'm truly pleased to 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 know you and to keep keep abreast with your with your career. Don't feel pressured. Do what you do best. You know I know people are gonna expect. Yeah, people are going to expect the world, but again, you can only do what you can do within your own rights, within your own limits as well. Um, so never feel pressure. Do what you can do within your own rights, and uh, the rest will, will, will sort itself out. Um, uh, 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 so so what is the current uh, – how is how's the golf game in, in college going now? Can you just uh, keep our, our audience uh, abreast with what, you, what you're doing? Okay, um, right now, we, for this semester, we just had practice. We, we didn't engage in any tournament because uh, we didn't have a coach. Mm-hmm. And um, we didn't have enough teammates, so our, our staff at Alcon are trying to get more teammates so we can play next semester. But we managed to put a lot of hours into practice, and uh, we're definitely ready for the spring semester. Mm-hmm. And um, in the last year, we we did good as a school. We had a good team of which I was happy to be part of and to to be able to contribute to the trophies that we won, of which the school has, has never had in a long time. So they, they were starting to really recognize the sport and to see that the, it's a sport that can make a name for the school. So um, we... We were doing good. There was a lot of progress. Uh, we had meeting with the assistant director, and um, he was happy with what what the golf team had done. He was happy with the with the team that was in there, and it was mostly Africans. There were three African girls in there, and they're my friends. So it was nice. It, it's people that I played with for some time. Mm-hmm. So it was nice to to come from home and come here and do good for the school. So we we're happy with what we did for the school and we hope to do more in the spring semester. Okay. And in our championships. All right. Okay. Um yeah. This it's a, it's a journey, obviously. Uh, it's it's never it's never done, and uh, this is a this is a life life journey that you're on now, because obviously, um, after Alcon State and you're going pro, uh, afterwards you 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 will be saddled with the opportunity to potentially travel to other parts of Africa to uh, to inspire uh, other communities, other the, the next generation uh, of. Um, Athletes, girl, girls as well, uh, who will be inclined to pick up or take up after you. 
so how in you know I know definitely this is a question that some